physiologic factor cannot be diet, and there's very little evidence to support the view that there is any connection. Diet is one of the key factors in the contemporary epidemic, and that to end this epidemic, we must do something about the diet. Jerry has been a paradigm shifter his entire career. Uh, and I think much of what he has done in defining new fields and in defining new techniques and methods for measuring human health, um, it's been an uphill battle probably the entire time, convincing people that diet is an important factor for health. I began to work at experimental atherosclerosis and in research in 1948. I came to Chicago to work in animals, feeding cholesterol and other things to chickens, and there were dramatic effects in chickens, and we decided it must also be true in humans. And we worked through the Heart Association and through the federal government to get the information out to doctors and to get it out to the public. As we were emerging from World War II, the story of health and population health was just emerging. Experts on food emphasize the importance of balanced diet. But it was very clear already that the problem of the rest of the 20th century was going to be chronic diseases of aging, cardiovascular disease, cancer. But he and his contemporaries really defined this field of cardiovascular epidemiology. And then once we understood what the causal risk factors were, we could move forward then to trying to think about prevention. What stages of your career these are drawn from? So Jerry started this department back in 1972. Here we are 47 years later, and it's remarkable how much his legacy endures. Just in the last year, he and his team, uh, with Jerry leading the way, published what I think will be viewed as the definitive paper on dietary factors and blood pressure. Tens of millions of people with high blood pressure walk in the streets untreated, more than half of them unidentified. That's not exactly a thoroughgoing and comprehensive approach to the health of the people. I don't know uh, how many other people at the age of 99 have an active NIH R01 grant, um, <clears throat> but I gotta believe that the number can be counted on you know, one hand. As the years have gone by, I've become more and more convinced of the importance of lifestyle for health. What we eat, what we drink, how we work, how we enjoy our families, how we enjoy our holiday. He had a good sense of humor, and he liked things that I liked. Like the relationship, the relationship and the warmth between us, that was what was special. Oh, she's highly companionable. possible to research very difficult, but I'm convinced it's important. Jerry is a humble man and it would take a long time to list all of the things that will mark the legacy that he has created in science. Uh, science is always a full contact team sport um, and Jerry would be the first to admit that, but um, I think most of the good ideas that happened in the development of this field were probably his. A scientist who selects his own greatest contribution as a foolish person. I leave it to history.